hello and welcome. I am Susan from Susan Lewis Marketing. Welcome to Graphics Creator in Use. Firstly, are you a student or a member? No? Try the Graphics Creator link. You are a student or a member? Terrific! Let's get started then. Log in from SFM, go through to the DBL. There you are. Now go down to the Graphics Creator. Choose your e-cover, what it's going to be. Hey, if you've come in from the DBL Direct, sign in. Now, go to Banner Maker. We'll make a picture. Or a banner of 300 by 300 pixels. <clears throat> there it is. What we're going to create with. Insert text. Choose to have effects or no effects. For the purpose of this display, let's choose little and effects. See? Colourful. Add the text. You will more than likely need to resize, so drag and change. There's the word little. Here's the word big. As you see, needs rechanging, sizing. There you go. Whoops, I forgot to number the graphics. And that is how you change the size. Follow the prompt. There you go. Changed again. Rotate button's pretty good, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's a really good one, that one. See, now you modify the text. You can make the letters arc. Swap them all around. Using the flip, here goes big, backwards. And of course some things blur. See? <clears throat> now the letters sharpen. Maybe you undo it didn't like it. There you go. Little big things. 
Ah, sign up and download. Okay, now we're going to do the e-cover. Choose your e-cover. Have you signed up? Okay, upload your own picture. We've just created that. From your files. in your computer. There it is. So you'll need to click on it and it'll get a frame around it. When the frame's there, you've got the left and the right side. The right side's what it's actually going to look like. Okay, select and continue. There it is, looks okay, I think. Ah, must claim your creation. Put your name on it. Sign up. Weehee! Finalize the picture. Put your stamp on it. Okay, well, maybe not this one. So you can go to font. Ah, yeah, okay. Try again. You see, you need to think of sizing. That's better. Copy the words. You can change them as well. Okay. Those ones look too big. We'll change them. Before finalization. undo button is handy if anything needs undoing. Uh oh, yes. Um, it helps to sign. There's the finalize button. Finalize! This is the slowest time of all. Whoopsie daisy, forgot to check the spine. See how the curves letters are curved? Oh well, we'll change the colouring on the borders behind. This is yellow. See where you change the number? The colour coding number to the back and you get a blue background now. Change it back. Okay, that's where the spine is. So you upload it again, long way. And you can create your cover e cover from here. See, you've already got it downloaded, sitting there waiting for you. Love this. It's a fantastic feature. There's your edit button. There's your edit button. Now check all three. Your text effect, your font and the alignment. You've got to remember that there is a uh, balance area. You'll lose your work. See little big things? You can stretch it around, change its position. 
Hey, it's the, where it's meant to be. Okay, there's the sign up sign. Just a reminder. Go back into <coughs> the area here. Choose your picture, your ebook cover. Go back into the ebook. Create e cover. Hit the arrow. Upload your own picture. Okay, you know this one was okay, so you're going to upload it. You've done that. And now select and continue. That is what your picture is going, your e cover is going to look like. Okay, so we're still taken back there. We are confirming by finalizing. See the button? There's one book, e cover book. Another one with a blue background. Count time to download. Ah, oh, white background. One base picture, several different at, um, at applicate. Next, alter to suit for the video clip you want to make. Now try the graphics creator out, hit the link. Graphics creator is now in use. Congratulations, you've done well. This is Susan from Susan Lewis Marketing. We'll meet again. Thank you.